Alright, we're back with more Dragon's Dogma 2. I've done a lot of grinding. I have over 198,000, which probably isn't all that much. Swap pawns. Basically, I'm level 48 now. Uh, these two have uncompleted quests, but yeah, let's go ahead and just uh, finish up doing this uh, guy's... The sculptor's thing. Clark means to unveil the sculpture before a select audience. He asked me to extend an invitation to you as well. I will await you at his estate in Vernworth's noble cool. quarter. Attend the unveiling. Okay. So does this mean I have to... Let's take the damn ox carts, I suppose. I think one thing in this game that I actually hate very much is the fact that there's just so much traveling back and forth and that there's just... I really wish there was an easy way to farm fairy stones right now, because I'd carry them like crazy right now. It's just... Oh, by the way, I got Bunny the Corset. That's the one damn thing that I've been trying to get this whole entire time. It takes 150 Seekers tokens to get it. Yeah. This ox cart will not take you anywhere till I've Don't had care. Hey, go. Also, Bunny is also a thief now. Because I'm trying to get her to, um, have all of her vocations up. Just as I am now, because I need to be a mage to get the high, whatever it is, the... Okay. How the hell did wolves get in the city? Alright, finally. I think this is it. Clark's estate. What they whispering at me now? You. You're not the guy. Greetings. Oh, there it is. Patrons, connoisseurs, friends. My humblest thanks for joining me here at the unveiling of my collection's crowning jewel. There is much more I should like to say, but the anticipation is apt to kill me should I stall another moment. Let us gaze upon the sculpture now. Ah, what splendid work this is. Let us give a round of applause for young Fulvio, who breathed life into this block of stone. And for the good Arisen, who aided him in his noble thank venture. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I can say wholeheartedly this is completely inaccurate to me, because I did not use a spear whatsoever. But, you know. It's... it's a start. It's a start. Alright, so now that that's done, we can probably go and move on with the game. Um, what was the next quest we wanted to do? No, we can probably do Phantom Ox Cart now. By the way, to activate the Phantom Ox Cart, I was near one of the Ox Cart that was going to the checkpoint town, and eventually they just kind of activated it for me, and was like, okay, have you heard about this uh, Ox Cart that appears at night? It's kind of this thing, you know, and I was like, oh, okay, well, you know. Moving on. So, what are we supposed to do? There it is! I brought the number that you requested. I'll take it, this will be enough. Aye, nicely done. Get in, you lot. Here's your payment. Thank you kindly, sir. Ordinarily, coin like this would take me half a year to earn. And I'll thank you to spend it wisely. Don't go drawing undue attention onto yourself, or that'll be the last you get. An ox cart traveling a night is suspicious enough in its own right, if to have known that I'm carrying pawns across the border. I know. And I'll take care of it, I swear it. Contact me again when you've need of more cargo, won't you? Uh-huh. What is it? I've done not worth following me over. Question the soldier. <sighs> My Hold, I beg you. I'll tell you what there is to know. I was approached by a Batali merchant I met at the border checkpoint. He offered me a coin in exchange for rounding up pawns. Aye, I know. Here in Vermin, there's nary a deed more abhorrent. But you have to understand, my gambling debts were like to drown me. I needed coin, and I needed it fast. <laughs> I know not where they've been taken. Pray, believe me. Here, take this. Tis a document I got from that merchant. If word of this should reach the palace, I'd no doubt be disciplined. I might even lose my post. I'll give you all the gold I got today. So pray, I beg you, will you let me go? I swear, I'll ne'er do aught like this again. 
I think that we should escort him to Vermund so that that way we can find out more about this merchant, in my opinion, so... Escort. Oh, I suppose it was too much to... Oh, you're a logistician? I'm getting rid of you. Many thanks. We'll take it from here, sir. Worry not. He'll receive his due soon enough. Till then... He'll be made comfortable in the dungeons. You question the soldier. Right, Merchant's dungeon. Find out who's behind the Phantom Ox card. Okay. Let's see. Bring the merchant's document to someone with a connection to the palace to gain some insight in who might be responsible for organizing... Oh, okay. So then... What about, what's his name? The, uh... Brant. What about Brant? Well, by the way, apparently I raised Brant's affinity to maximum because apparently I revived him. And he's like, damn, I like you for that. And I was like, oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. Is there a way to maybe reduce someone's affinity with you? I'm gonna have to look that up, because, uh... Well, if it's the same as Dragon's Dogma 1, which I wouldn't know, I never spoiled anything for me. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to reduce his, um, his affinity Welcome. with me. <sighs> hey, Bran! You have my fullest confidence. About the Phantom Monk's card. Yes, your majesty. Here you go. Ah, so you've encountered the Phantom Ox card from the rumors. To be precise, the letter of the Lord does not forbid the abduction of pawns. However, in our sovereign rule kingdom, crude treatment of the pawns who so loyally serve our liege is an act decried by all. If one were to sell them for personal gain, they would doubtless be censured no matter their station. And this letter, by its make and the quality of the parchment, I can only surmise tis of the like used in the palace. We ought to assume a member of the court has a hand in this matter. But for what purpose are these pawns being gathered? And where are they being taken? I have a proposal, your majesty. Should we ascertain the pawn's destination? Perchance we will discover the intent behind this plot. Yet if we question the driver haphazardly, this mission will be over before it begins. Your face is looking a little red there, are you drunk? I bid your majesty follow the ox cart without arousing suspicion, that you might divine where it is headed. Alternatively, mayhap your majesty could assume the guise of a pawn and await pickup in a likely location. I leave the choice to your majesty's discretion. Okay. So, how do I disguise myself as a pawn? Is it going to require all that stuff again? The miner's outfit? Please, dear god, don't don't require that. Apparently, if I want to do this quest now, I have to strip down to completely nothing and then just wait here with my lantern on. What's this? Only pawns? What's that dullard playing at? I suppose it's all the same. The car goes all I need to get the job done. In you get then. Okay, I'll go in. Well. <laughs> Are we there yet? Boarded the Phantom Ox cart. Fine, I'm tired. Empty. I bet. Got to buy more drink. Could do with a What was that? Fine. Now I'm jumping in shadows. You sure are, dude. Man. We're under attack! Don't just stand there! Protect the cart! Drive the fiends back! Okay.
Well then. Oh. Okay, seriously. <laughs> Guess we'll just punch him to death. Money. What's the hold up? Get it. Well, come on. Oh no. How I am fair my fine passengers this evening. Miserable. Don't know why I'm asking. Never know what I'm I do. Suppose you'll just have to listen then. You pawns are a queer lot. How dare you? They say you'll do whatever the artisan says. Yep. You offer no complaint or quarrel, and you're undying to boot. You're well suited as slaves, if you ask me. Truth be told, I've lost count of how many of you I've transported these past few days. Still not the faintest idea what they do, or where they take you after I drop you off. I've ne'er seen one of you return. That says a lot. As some would tell it, you're serving as targets for new recruits undergoing spear training. Spears? Others say your lifeblood is squeezed out like juice from a grape to be offered <laughs> to the Empress of Qatar. <laughs> Did that scare you, Amy? Never mind. It was all in jest. I don't know about that one. It's not like I know the truth of it, anyhow. Not like I care, either. As long as I get my coin, I'm a happy man. I'm not fussed what happens to me. Oh, rude. Are we there yet? Checkpoint rest town. <laughs> they are parting debris. You Bolts, wait there. We're expecting your cargo. Open up. I hear they follow whatever command they're given. Aye, and they'll take any beating without a word of complaint. Let's see for ourselves. Sorry, my hand. How'd you like that? Let's see. <laughs> Built rather tough, eh? You going to fight back? <coughs> oh, I really wish I would, and you could, but undying. I'm pretending but to be a pawn right now. No, they're just hey. taking it. <coughs> what a ball! <laughs> just like hitting that tree stump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys keep doing Enough. that. That's valuable merchandise you're toying with. Worth more than your wages combined. Have you prepared the cargo we're to carry alongside them? No. Well, get a move on. <laughs> we're off. Okay. Yep, we're off. Are we there yet? Oh, it's about time. So I guess no one's gonna recognize the scar on my chest here. They're just gonna. On your knees, worthless vessels. Wait, you're not a pawn. We're an intruder in our midst. To arms! Oh shit. Okay, now I can finally start fighting back. Ugh, about time. Alright, boys. There's one thing you forgot to do. Check my inventory. And now you get to burn. Oh. Man, they're really on fire. <laughs> Oh, 
Alright. Ow. Ow. Get him off. Alright, seriously? Alright, can someone just... Why is this spawn doing absolutely nothing? Needs a bit of help here? Oh my god, my stamina. Bunny, can you do something? There, now he's dead. I'm not gonna revive this guy. Thank you. No! I'm not reviving anyone. So where am I going? Where am I? See, flame bearer, palace, spell sealed door. Where am I? Holy crap. Let's see, search for evidence that could implicate the Queen Regent in the abduction of pawns and bring it to Captain Brandt. Dead. All right, found him. Found him. This is the guy. Apparently he was bugged. Yep, this explains a lot. It's the guy with the staff that we're supposed to take out, and that's why. Okay, yep, labor requisition orders. Oh, finally. Okay, so that was... Okay, I suspect this will suffice as proof. Sure will. Now to report to Captain Brandt. No. Before we do that, we're now going to do this. Well met, Sir Arisen. Let us dispense with pleasantries and cut to the heart of the matter. I have a task that requires someone of your skill and discretion. Some days ago, a fiend attacked Empress Nadinya during her supplications. Her Majesty was unharmed, but the would-be assassin fled, gifting me a wounded arm in the process. He may seek to strike again. Yet I fear I am not fit to guard the Empress as I am. And so I turn to you, Sir Arisen. Will you catch this my deepest okay. thank? Her Majesty will next begin her supplications in Flamebearer Palace. I Empress Nadinya's life is in your hands, Sir Ar I was just coming over here to go do some dumb thing. Go to the Flamebearer Palace in the morning. That's, that's cool and all, but I don't want to go in the morning. I want to do this quest, which is a Veil of Gossamer. Okay. We're supposed to eavesdrop in some conversation or something. Are we supposed to be able to go to some magic lab or whatever? So where's the person that we're supposed to be talking to? Hey, another secret token. Come on. What was the missive that just arrived? Oh, you know. The usual. From Vermont, bound straight for the archives. Not to be opened. Another one? What is the director up to? Well, never mind that. Did we get any other deliveries today, Pichard? Surely you're not expecting another one of your love letters. Why, just the other day, you were warned not to use this address for personal correspondences. You really mustn't be so imprudent. Need I remind you that if word of our activities here was to get out, we could be shut down. Yes, yes, I'm well aware of that, thank you. <laughs> now come, enough gossiping. We've work to be getting on with. We learned of a secret letter from Vermeer. Okay. So now... Behind the unfinished letter and share your findings with the region kitten. Uh... Can I use a fairy stone here? Thanks! Okay, so now I just gotta... Okay. Let's get the hell out of here then. Normally. Why is Vermin funding our research? What do they have to gain from it? I don't know. Truth be told, I've never asked. 
But I heard a rumor that tis all part of a plot to put the prince, though I suppose he's the regent kin over there, on the throne. What? Where did he hear that rubbish? How's what we're doing here bear any relation to a scheme like that? Please tell me people don't actually think that you both are beastrin. First off, you have no hair on your arms other than just very small hairs. And second, you're wearing terrible masks. It is only what I heard, but you're quite right. It doesn't make much sense. I suppose it is a rumor best ignored after all. I do wonder what the director's plotting, but... <sighs> Frankly, as long as Patal is left out of it, I don't rightly care what he gets up to. Okay. Let's see about getting the hell out of here now. Wait, there's a door. Material stores? Mine! Fine. Another one. Sir? Right? Are you the Arisen? I? Then you must have been to the Argaman ruins. I heard a rumor that a Medusa was seen there. Is it true? Oh, yeah. As if so, that means tis no mere creature of legend, but a monster as real as any other. Oh, it's real. Know you the legend of the hero Danaus? Well, no. one version of the tale claims the hero's foe was a Medusa. The legend is inscribed here. You must take it and read it for yourself, sir, seeing as you've witnessed a genuine article. I don't know if I trust this guy. I mean... Okay. Let's see. The beast was twofold the height of any man with tresses of writh uh, writhing snakes. Oh, basically hair of writhing snakes. And the cruelly twisted visage of a woman. Every soldier who beheld her was turned to stone. Terror of their final moments etched upon their faces. Yet Danas was fleet of foot and yet knew no hesitation. A single thrust of his blade was all take the silver face head. Let's see. There. To think that the... Okay. I mean, I tried smacking that thing's head multiple times, but it just kept shaking me off. So, I don't know what to tell you about that one, man. 